what's up guys welcome to another video and in this video we are going to test the iphone 10r on the ios 14.4.1 so first of all i never expected this update coming up i mean seriously no one expected this update coming up it came around 141 mbs on my iphone 10r it came around 138 on my iphone 12 it came around 143 at my 143 mbs on my iphone 11 and yep that's it that's pretty much it i have not installed it on my iphone 7 yet let me know if you want an iphone 7 review on a us 4.1 i'll do that for you guys and uh, i'm uh, because it, it's just that i have to install this update via itunes because over the year update i just can't get that because i'm on ios 14.5 or pretty much all of my devices so uh, another thing is you have to subscribe to tech Hive because we are really close to 8000 subscribers all right so what are the new things that are introduced in this firmware and should you update iphone 10r to this firmware or not let's discuss so the main feature that apple brought in this update was security fix because apple you know in past couple of months apple is just focusing on privacy a lot i have seen tim cook talking about privacy and all the facebook versus apple beef is going on the privacy thing on apple side is just top notch at the moment so ios 14.4 brought a lot of security fixes which were i really appreciated in my opinion and ios 14.4.1 is no different it brought some security updates it is not as major as ios 14.4 the security fixes are there and the bug fixes are there but from the ios 14.3 to ios 14.4 the bug fixes were a lot and the security features which were introduced in ios 14.4 was a lot so comparing the, the ios 14.4 to ios 14.4.1 I would say the difference is actually none there are some bug fixes but those are just not that major talking about the update should you install this update on your iphone 10r or not definitely go ahead and install this update on your iphone 10r i don't know it is just me or what but after installing this update my face id feels really quick and uh, you all know iphone 10r didn't really brought that second generation type uh, fast face id feature like the iphone 12 and iphone 10s and all devices so these de this device actually feels really quick and almost same as my iphone 12 now so if i'll do this you see it is really similar so i'm actually kind of bit surprised i don't know it is it is it is happening with just me or what let me know down in comments below if you have installed ios 14.4.1 on your device the face id improvements are there to your device or not or is it just me who is just getting a really great scan of face id every time after installing this update so after installing this update i got around 500 mbs back whereas on my iphone 12 i got 200 mbs back it's great that i got almost half a gigabyte after installing ios 14.4.5 which is like a not a big update at all it was an under 200 mbs as i just said and bringing in half a gigabyte is a big thing it cleared a lot of cache it means and on my iphone 12 it didn't clear that much cache that it did on my iphone 10r my iphone 11 review will be coming up really soon so you can subscribe and turn on notifications talking about the battery life the battery life on ios 14.4.1 is the same as ios 14.4 so no improvements or no drain issues here there are no drain issues actually that's pretty dope in my opinion because apple is notorious to just bring in drain issues on old devices after installing updates so there are no drain issues no battery drain issues uh, the, the battery performance is not better than ios 14.4 but i would say it is almost the same so that's it for today's video if you do find this video helpful consider dropping a like and subscribe to this channel because i do these type of videos almost every day and i'll meet you on the very next episode